I'm going to show you how to increase security and privacy when conducting a Zoom meeting. Now the first thing you might want to do is go into the settings, the default settings for each meeting, and change these particular parameters. For example, you'll want to turn the participants video off when they join a meeting. You also will want to turn the join before host off. Now sometimes I've turned that on because I might be late for a meeting and so someone can actually get into the meeting before I can. That's not a good idea if security and privacy are your priority. You want the host to control the meeting. Using your personal ID for a meeting is not a good idea. Sometimes people change that personal meeting ID to your phone number. However, that means anybody who knows your phone number can get into that meeting and you'll want to restrict access to your meetings. So you want to turn that off. Requiring a password for a new meeting, you probably want to turn that on. That adds another level of security so someone will need the link and they'll need a password to get in. And that goes the same for an instant meeting that you want to create. You also want to reserve screen sharing to the host only. Now you might have a classroom and a number of students and you want them to share screens and you can turn that on or off when you're in the meeting. But to start, I would suggest having the screen sharing for the host only. Allowing remove participants to rejoin. Well, you want to turn that off. If you remove a participant, chances are you want them out. So you don't want them trying to get back in again. Finally, you'll want to turn the waiting room on. That means that to get in the meeting, someone will be put into a waiting room and you have to approve their entry. You would use settings to turn on features for your default settings. And what that means is these features would exist for every new meeting after this point. So this is the host video and the participants video, which you would turn off and you can scroll through and find the different settings that I've suggested to improve security for your meeting. The second way you can maintain security and privacy is when you schedule a new meeting. And these are the settings I would suggest that you address. The meeting ID should be generated automatically. You don't want to use your personal ID pin. The meeting password should be turned on. That means someone needs a password to get into the meeting. The video for both the host and the participant when they first enter should be turned off. And then with the meeting options, you should probably turn off enable join before host, which I talked about before. You want to mute participants upon entry. And that's just good practice because people's mics should be silent when they come into a meeting the first time. And finally, you'll want to make sure that the enable waiting room is checked off so that participants have to be approved before they get into a meeting. So you would click on meetings, then schedule a meeting. Then you would scroll down to check some of the features that would ensure more security and privacy. For example, generating meeting IDs automatically and requiring a password and the features that I've listed before. So this would be very helpful. The final way that you can change security and privacy settings is when you're in the actual meeting. So for example, if you click on the security icon, you can lock the meeting and that means no one can get in the meeting after that point. You can also make sure that the waiting room is enabled from this area and you can allow participants to share the screen. So you might want to uncheck that or you can make a choice of whether you're going to allow them to chat or rename themselves. That might just depend on the meeting. The final thing you can do is remove a participant. During your Zoom meeting, there are a number of security features that you can turn off and on. And to do that, you need to hover over your screen and then this control bar will appear and you'll click on this security icon. Once you do that, you could lock the meeting and that means that no one else can get into the meeting after that point. Your waiting room will probably be enabled but you can enable it from here and that means you would have to approve people to get into the meeting. You can also prevent your participants from sharing a screen 
using chat or renaming themselves should you wish to do that. And finally, you could remove a participant by clicking here and then moving up here and then removing the participant. So those are some ways that you can improve privacy and security when you're conducting a Zoom meeting.